Mercedes has finally given the GLC some much needed TLC as the old car was getting just a bit too dated to go against its new and updated rivals. Now the changes might seem incremental on the outside but there's a lot more that's happened under the skin. At first glance it is hard to tell the updated GLC from the previous one and you need to look closer to spot the changes. At the front the headlights get a new design pattern and you also have a new design for the twin slat grille along with revised bumpers. View it from the side and you notice the bigger 19 inch wheels that look premium and give it a more proportionate stance. Carried over is the silver finished running board with the subtle black plastic cladding that gives it that SUV cred. Over to the rear, the tail lights now feature LEDs and get a revamped design for the cluster that is more in line with the new GLE and GLS. The other big change on this GLC is the engine. You now get a more powerful 194 horsepower diesel engine that you also see on the C-Class and the E-Class. This engine is also BS6 compliant which means refinement levels are good but the performance is not as sprightly and you do miss that low end grunt that was there on the older car. You do get drive modes to choose between eco, comfort, sport and individual but even in the most responsive sport setting the engine fails to excite. Then there is the 9 speed automatic gearbox which is smooth to shift but isn't as fast as the DSG on the Audi Q5 or even the 8-speed automatic on the BMW X3. The GLC then is not a car that you would enjoy driving fast. However, thanks to the big jump in refinement, it is a much more relaxed and comfortable drive than before. Step inside and it is a familiar sight as there are minor revisions to the interior. While the dashboard design is similar, the refreshed center console now features a nice blend of open pour wood and brushed aluminum that feels plush. Then there is the new steering which gets the feather touch controls like all modern Mercs but what's a bit of a downer is the instrument cluster that is still analog despite the international version getting a full digital unit. You also have a bigger touchscreen, wireless charging and Type-C USB ports. Not much has changed at the back apart from the windows that now get sun blinds. But the big draw with this GLC is the new infotainment system called MBUX. Like all modern cars the GLC too comes with an embedded SIM card for connectivity and you also get a voice command system. So all you have to do is say hello Mercedes and follow it up with a command and the car will do it for you. It has no problems with the accent and is one of the most responsive systems around. Also in this day and age what's a car without a dedicated app? The Mercedes Me app is part of the MBUX system and through it you can lock or unlock the car, check the vehicle status like the condition of the battery, fuel level condition of your brakes and even make SOS calls for assistance. Now in terms of ride comfort, this GLC is not too different than the old car. Yes, the bigger wheels do mean there is a hint of firmness over broken roads but overall the soft suspension gobbles up potholes with ease. In terms of handling, there is little that has changed. The steering is just as fluid as before and weighs up with a gain in speed. Body control is decent too despite a soft suspension setup and what's also impressive is the high speed stability. So while retaining its aggressive price point, the changes to the GLC have done well to bring it back to the front lines alongside the likes of the X3, Q5 and XE60. It's still not the most exciting to drive but it rides significantly better and the new diesel engine apart from being BS6 compliant is smoother too. The biggest change though is the MBUX infotainment system which is really among the best in the industry now. Yes, perhaps a few more features could have been added to the equipment list but that aside the GLC has done well to catch up to its newer rivals.